It's really quite simple, you see. All you gotta do is take your old disc and put it in your CD drive and... It, there's, um... Hmm. It appears newer PCs don't have disc drives. So go get a copy of the game, DRM Free from GOG, for about six bucks, then download the Force Engine. Install both, then boom! Done! Magnifico! Holy smokes, this looks good. And I didn't have to spend 30 bucks to do it. Hi, I'm Ben Kai, and today I'm going to talk about the new Dark Forces remaster that got released recently, and see if it's worth getting over the original. So for comparison's sake, here's how the original looks. The resolution is locked to an extremely small 320 by 200 with no graphical options at all. And being an old FPS, there is no mouse look, so you're stuck on the x-axis. Put this game in the Force Engine, and now we're talking. Resolution options up to 4K, widescreen support, bloom effects, subtitles, crosshair options, rebind controls, and even save states. Whoa. Just whoa. And it will even have support for Outlaws later this year. That's another Jedi Engine game by LucasArts, set in the Old West. This is an incredible improvement over the original, and I highly recommend you play Dark Forces in this source port over the original. It just plays and looks so much better with it. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about that remaster. Night Dive Studios, the proprietor of old ancient games, has once again set their sights on another re-release. So how does this one fare? Hey, it kind of plays the same. And it looks the same too. Ah, but it does have the added benefit of no save states. Yes. At least the menu looks prettier. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so it's not all that bad. It does have some things exclusive to the remaster, like these bonus features that show some concept art, pre-rendered images, and even some of the game development tools that the original LucasArts team used to build Dark Forces. But I think the biggest bonus feature is the inclusion of the Avenger demo map which was only available before as a demo at the 1995 Consumer Electronics Show. According to Night Dive's write-up, it was cut from the original game because the developers believed it would be too hard. I mean, it's not that hard. There's a couple more Stormtroopers than usual. It, mm, maybe it could do with a few less troopers. Graphically, it does look the same as the Force Engine. It even has the same bloom effect from light sources which I might add does look pretty cool, and is even adjustable under the Force Engine. But I like it right where it's at by default. It isn't until you navigate to the Enhancements section and see two brand new texture packs for the game. The first affects the cutscenes, and what you get here are brand new redrawn animations in HD, and I'll admit they do look better than the original in my opinion. The second are higher res sprites for all the in-game stuff. And those are not so apparent when playing at first. But upon closer inspection and swapping back and forth, you can tell that a lot of the enemies, weapons, and walls do look a bit sharper. So, are all these improvements worth the price tag? No. No. It is a slight improvement over the Force Engine, and in some respects, a downgrade in terms of the options that you no longer get to customize anymore. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad remaster by any means. Sure is a heck of a lot better than that enhanced version of Doom. All they did in that was put it in 1080p and call it a day. I just don't think the price tag is worth it when we have something for free that will do 90-10. No. There is another. Okay, so there is one more Dark Forces thing I'd like to talk about before I end the video. There is a remake of Dark Forces, a full 3D remake, in the form of a mod for Jedi Academy. The team behind it ended development after making only the first six levels, resulting in an unfinished game, which you can tell while playing it. Thank you, Lord Vader. Especially in the later levels, where some noticeable jink can occur, like a full-on Silver Surfer Katarn while wielding a lightsaber that he shouldn't be wielding. It's still a lot of fun, and interesting to see how a 3D version of Dark Forces would look like. Get it from jkhub.org if you'd like to play around with it. Now all we need is a proper remake of Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knight. There he is! Stop him! Oh shoot, there is one! Dang! 
This one looks awesome. Please, 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 please finish this one. I will buy that one for more than a dollar.